Hey guys, it's Caden Rice here, also known as Caden the Coder. Uh, this is your C++ tutorial number three. Uh, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to print out text to your to the screen and uh, some variables as well. So it's pretty much a two-in-one, but it's just the one tutorial. Hopefully, it doesn't exceed ten minutes, but you never know. Uh, it might be fifteen, but I don't like you. I don't want you guys to sit around doing nothing all day watching me. I want you guys to code. So watch this. I'll be showing you how to write out code on your screen first when you run it. So first function you're going to type in is cout. Cout. Cout basically tells it you you'll write something in. I'll show you in a minute and I'll explain it. So your arrows. Uh, Kaden is a cool guy. You can write whatever you want in here. It doesn't really matter what you write. And then oh sorry about that. I forgot to do backslash new line and then your arrows again end line semicolon <coughs> sorry <coughs> so what this function does is it will write out Caden is a cool guy on the screen when you run it C out tells the computer uh, that this is what he needs to write out on the screen you need to make sure your brackets are there your quotation marks sorry and you have to make sure that the arrows are there before your text and after your text and the end line is just there to make it all neat and tidy so let's go ahead and run this and as you can see it writes out Caden is a cool guy out on the screen so yes finally it worked good job um, you can write out whatever you want um, doesn't really matter so now we're gonna add a question in here so that the computer is asking you a question um, and then you'll answer to it so we just need to make a variable here int a and then do you uh, whoopsies, uh, agree and then what you need to do is type c in c in your brackets going the opposite way because c in lets the user type something in and it will store it in the variable a that's why we have the variable there Int is what you will use to make the variable, whatever, you can name it, your variable, whatever you want, pretty much. But uh, whatever you name it, you'll have to do that. So say if you named it, say if you named it, yes, you're going to type in yes like that. But uh, we're just going to do, you can name your variable whatever you want, depending on what you're making. So we're just going to call it A, A, and then what we're going to do here is we are going to run this and then it says Caden is a cool guy do you agree and then you're gonna type in yes and then it ends the program there because that answer was stored in the variable a so I just showed you a little bit on both on how to let the user print on text to the screen to your question or to your game or whatever you're making and I just showed you a little variable there but now I'll be showing you variables themselves so first we're gonna make a few variables and we're just gonna make a basic little program here uh, so we're gonna make int I'll type it out and explain it later so those are your variables uh, we're gonna make it so that the user can type in a number for int a for a it'll store that number in the variable a then it will store your second number in the variable B, and then we'll add those numbers together, and it will come out as the variable stored in the variable sum. So I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. Now you're going to do your uh, skills that you just learned on how to print text out to the screen, and then you're going to do enter uh, number, uh, and then end line. And then C in A. So this lets the computer will tell you to enter a number and it will store whatever number you type in in the variable A. Now you're going to make another one, C out. Oops. And enter another number. Backslash new line. Oopsies. And line. Now, you're going to do C in B. So, whatever 
your other number you type in, it will store in the variable B. You can type in whatever you want in here, doesn't really matter. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do sum equals A plus, whoopsies, A plus B, and then semicolon. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to do C out, back bracket, uh, the sum, whoopsies, the sum of those numbers, numbers is, and then what you're going to do now is you are going to, excuse me, you're going to do, uh, you're going to do what I just did, and then you're going to do that sum, and then what you're going to do now is you are going to do, uh, end line, and then whatever numbers you typed in, it will store it in there, it will say it right there, and then it'll end line. So let's just go ahead and run this. Uh, so enter a number. Let's type in 12. Then it says enter number number. Type in 12 again. Click enter. The sum of those numbers is 24. And 12 plus plus 12 plus 12 is of course 24. So basically, what this program is is it makes a little calculator using variables and uh, printing out text and answering the questions. So uh, in our next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make something else. I'll be showing you how to make a random number generator. Um, that should be very fun and interesting, so stay tuned for that. Uh, you can uh, subscribe if you want, if you like the video. Um, I'll be actually, in our next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a bigger and awesome calculator that has dividing plus adding, subtracting, and times tables in it. Uh, all those four that will be coming up tomorrow. It's a little basic program um, that you'll be making and it's very fun so please subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, stay tuned for our next tutorial. Uh, like I said subscribe. Please and thank you. You guys are awesome. Uh, see you later world. Adios.